I don't smell no dinner cooking. You can always do it yourself. Oh, I'm not eating it if he makes it. Do as a plate of taters, Emily. She's ironing my uniform. What's one that for? What do you think we're back at school? You never went. Yeah, well, I've decided I'm going to go now. I want to get my GCSEs. That's smashing, Debbie. No, it's not, cos she's not going. But she can't legally leave till next summer. Oh, right, and I suppose her getting tubbed at 15 was legal. Oh, look, you might think I'm a slapper, and everyone at school might think no I'm a slapper. No one thinks that. But I'm going to prove the lot of you wrong. I'm going to do something in my life. You've already done that. You've had her. Well, I'm still going back. Oh. Well, there's a first. A dingo kid kicking up a fuss about not going to school. <laughs> I'm going. You aren't. Right, everyone. Spring clean time. It's not spring. No arguments. Shift yourselves. What's going on? Well, we have got to clean every inch of this place and then we've got to vacuum even under the mattresses and then burn all the rubbish and then spray everywhere. This is going to be a flea-free zone. Oh, just get rid of him. Look, uh, yeah, of course we'll help you, love. Uh, when we've had a few noggins oh, down the wall, eh? Hey, <laughs> you are not shifting until every speck of grime is gone. We'll be here till Christmas. Play the game, love. Do you want that little one to scratch itself red raw? Hey, it'd be good, this. I like cleaning. Oh, you best take the little one outside while this dust is flying. Right, get them up in you. Oh, oh don't strain yourself. Kim, don't you think it'd be a good idea for Debbie to get back to school? No, it'd be a total waste of time. She won't even be on register. Will she be able to see all her friends again? <sighs> yeah, and then some lad will get her up the duff. She's not stupid. No, neither am I. Emily, I know I've not been much of a dad to her, and that's probably why she's turned out like she has. But no more. She's got a kid here. A kid who needs a mother. Not someone hanging about street corners pretending a baby doesn't exist. Oi! Look what I've found under our bed. Well, you're not mine. If you haven't forgotten, I have to keep in the barn. Oh, best for you to get that and all. In the afternoons, you have been nipping up there for a kip. Oh, that explains the smell. I thought it were you, Zach. I don't suppose it's out left in the bowl. Well, of course not, cos you drank them all. Anyway, I want all of this lot finished before I go visiting tomorrow. Visiting? I reckon this Granny Clay is a figment of your imagination. You're likely to be meeting some big, hairy blacksmith in Bradford. Oh, tell him, Zach! <laughs> <laughs> You're not, are you? Hey. Hiya. I've had to come out. We've got fleas. <laughs> I don't know what you're laughing at. Oh, sorry. They're spraying everything. My dad's got a right cob on because I want to go back to school. Mm, I wish I didn't have to. He must have a right laugh at boarding school. I don't think so. And I've only just realised why I hate that place so much since I've been here. Hey, but you do all right at school, though. Try to tell my dad that. He thinks I'm as thick as a plank. I'm sure he thinks it's not safe to let me out. Yeah, what do parents know? <sighs> You're learning. <clears throat> I'm sure we can work something out, some sort of compromise. What, like you and Paddy Kirk did? Debbie's education's much more important than me and Paddy. Yeah, and Sir having a mum is more important than that. Oh, so you're writing me off? What do you think? You won't believe the state of that. <laughs> What's up? Debbie wants to go Debbie, back... Debbie, for the first time in her life, will do what she's told. Kane! I'm going to pub. When I was your age, I'd have loved to have had a kiddie to stay at home and look after. I ain't got much going for me then. Yeah, but I don't want that. Once Mum said I could be whatever I wanted, I know I've done stupid things, but I want to try. It doesn't mean your life's ended now. Yeah, but it feels like it has. I've hardly got any friends and they'll all be back at school. I've got nothing. You've got a baby. A lovely baby. Don't I know it. Everyone seems to talk to Sarah more than they talk to me. We love the pair of you. Dad doesn't. Lisa, if I go back to school, I'm still going to see him more than someone who sticks a kid in nursery all day. I'll have a word with him. Really? Yeah, but don't you get to him first. And don't expect him to change his mind. He's as stubborn as you are. <laughs> That's a lot better. Trying to gas us. I'll open a window. <coughs> thinking about how Debbie can get back to school and Sarah can be looked after. Emily, I 
don't know how many different ways I can say this. Debbie's not going back. She can face up to responsibilities. But I think I've got the answer. And it wouldn't have to be a burden on you or anyone else. Don't talk to me like I'm an idiot. I'm not. I'm sorry if you thought I was. I can look after Sarah during the day. No way. Well, why not? You all know me and Debbie leaves her with me anyway, so Sarah knows me. And I've got time on my hands. Yeah. Too much time because you've not got a life. Now, do you think I want my granddaughter brought up by a wet blanket like you? A sad case? A joke? Uh, uh... Oh, don't you start. <laughs> <laughs>